What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today we're going to be reviewing Galactic Toys exclusive Midnight from My Hero Academia. Let's check her out. Before we get the video started, if you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell. Make sure to stick around because I do all kinds of cool videos for you guys each week. As well as make sure to follow me on Instagram, join the Discord where you can talk to me and fellow collectors. Join my Facebook group where you can buy, sell, and trade your Funko Pops. Become a Patreon today where you guys can get gifts sent to you every single month. I send some pretty cool gifts, so make sure you guys check out that down below. And even get yourself some Skitter Rampage merch. There's all kinds of cool things to check out. So check out all those links down below. All right, guys, so Galactic Toys exclusive Midnight finally came in the mail. This thing took forever to get here, I'm pretty sure. It took like two weeks, I want to say. It's just kind of like, whoa. So I pre-ordered it rather later, um, rather than like early on when it was first initially announced, just because I, you know, I don't really get pre-orders when they're first, first announced because it's all going to come in the mail the same way either way. So why pre-order it so early in my opinion i don't know i don't really pre-order too many pops unless it's exclusive to an exact company but she's finally here this is the most recent exclusive for my hero academia i believe so at least i'm pretty sure this is the most recent exclusive and then there's um you know obviously all the new waves coming out so if you guys do not know which ones are coming out make sure you check out that video up there um it shows from london toy fair or new york toy fair it was one of the two where all the new my hero academia pops dragon ball super all those cool ones pretty much all the new anime ones coming out so you guys can have them all in one video but anyways we have Midnight here, guys. I'm so excited about this one to add it to the collection. If you don't know, I pretty much have the full My Hero Academia set, so before all the new ones coming out. So this, well, I guess this is part of Wave 3, technically, and all the new ones are different. But, uh, so I guess technically this completes the new wave. I have a complete set. It took me forever to do. Oh my god, it took me forever. I did a complete set video if you guys want to check that out as well. Really awesome. I've done a, com a few complete set videos as well. If you guys will notice in the background here, we got the new Tokyo Ghoul pops in, changing the background up a little bit, adding some more anime. But, like I said, Galactic Toys Midnight, super excited about this one. She helps complete the set. We gotta check her out. We gotta check her out, right? So let's check her out. All right, let's get this box open. I'm so excited to add this to the set. So, um, Galactic Toys, I know they ship in protectors. Um, I know their protectors aren't as good as chalices. I haven't seen their protector in a while, but um, they do ship in protectors every time, I believe. They even say it on their website. Um, shipping was like four bucks, I think. So the total of the pop was like $21.95. I think that's what it normally is for their exclusive. So that was really cool. It's not too crazy expensive, but it's still, you know, a typical Hot Topic exclusive is $12.50. So this is double that. So a little crazy, but she's here she has bubble wrap and a pop protector i'm super excited oh that, that's a pretty solid protector actually let's check her out let's throw this box on the ground here she is in the bubble wrap i'm super excited who doesn't love bubble wrap look at that okay oh lord there she is this is great so obviously most of you guys know she is known as the main waifu other than mount lady so she is i want to say there's not too many girls in the set there are toga there is, uh, there's Momo, and then there's Ochako, Mount Lady, and Midnight. I think that's all the girls in the set right now. I believe so. If I'm missing one, let me know down below. But all my pops aren't out. There's like some on the bottom. Oh, Sue. Sue as well. I just saw her down there. So Sue as well. So there's like five or six girls total in pop form. And they got so many others to make us, along with other characters. So I'm super excited to unbox her. Let's check her out. But let me show her off to you guys really quick. Look at that. That's super, super cool. Look at that. Okay. So, when she was first announced in the new wave, like I said, I was so excited. I'm really excited finally doing the review. Sorry it's so late. Like I said, Galactic Toys took forever with their shipping, so I can't can't help that from the company. So, um, I mean, the standard shipping is only like, I thought it was like four or five days, but it took two weeks. So, anyways, let's check her out. Yes. Yes, finally, I, like I've been reviewing like singular pops lately and it's so much better than the Funko Pop hauls. Like, I mean, I love doing those Funko Pop hauls for you guys, like where I get tons of cool ones from Mercari, eBay, or, you know, Facebook groups, things like that. But nothing beats enjoying and reviewing a singular pop. So let's check her out. So she does have a base stand. That's really cool. Look at that pop, guys. That's really, really sick. I like that. The detail on that is awesome. So for those of you who do not know, she is a teacher at UA High and she teaches modern art history. Her quirk, I cannot pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to attempt to try, but it does put people to sleep, which that's a pretty good quirk. So it works better on males than it does females, which is obviously, it's kind of funny because she's like a big sadist in the show. That's why she carries a whip all the time, but 
I think adding the whip was a really cool detail. So she look, looks like she has like handcuffs, I think, or something, some cuff link type thing on her wrist there, if you guys can kind of see that. Um, I'm still holding her in, so let me put that down. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can kind of see the little things on her wrists. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I don't pay attention to her character too much just because, you know, obviously I'm a big Deku Bakugo and All Might fan. So um, that's the majority of the pops are Deku and All Might. So this is just a really, really overall detailed pop. They have all the colors down. They got the costume right. They got the hair right, the glasses. So I'm curious who ended up with her in the set because I saw a lot of comments saying they would pass on her, but I saw a lot of comments that said they wanted her. Obviously, we all know the reason you guys wanted her. We all know the reason. It's okay. It's okay. You can admit it down below in the comments. Obviously, I got her for my set. So. I think she's a really cool character to be made. There's so many other My Hero Academia characters that they could make. I really hope they continue to make cool characters such as her, but there is a whole new wave coming out with a lot of cool characters in that wave, so I'm not complaining for now. After that wave, I don't really know what they're gonna do. I mean, we did just get a 10-inch All Might. A 10-inch Nomu would have been awesome, or a 6-inch Nomu, but Funko doesn't listen to us. So, comment down below, which character from MHA would you guys like to see in pop form? I don't know, I think I'd like to see Fat Gum or... Um, definitely Nomu, obviously. Uh, Gran Torino would be awesome as well. So let me know down below which one you would like to be made as a Funko Pop. All right, guys, so that was the review of Midnight. If you guys enjoyed this review, make sure you leave a comment down below and like the video for Midnight. I mean, it's Midnight, guys. You gotta like the video for Midnight. But that's it for me, guys. Big shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much for supporting me each and every month. You guys are absolutely legendary and your support means so much, especially right now. So thank you guys so much. That's it for me, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.